So, madali po bang manalo sa casino? Ah... So, marami pong nag-request, uh, sabi nila sa akin, puto, magkwento ka naman tungkol dun sa trabaho mo dati. I'm pretty sure, you know, after 26 years dun sa industry, madami kang nakita. <laughs> Totoo po yun. You know, marami po akong na-experience, marami po akong nakita. Uh, not to brag, but uh, if you spend enough time in any industry po, you get to know it in and out, di ba? Ako naman po, like I said, 26 years, I've seen everything. Anything that anybody could probably think about or ask about that may or may not have happened inside a casino, nakita ko na po. Okay. And unfortunately, mas madami po yung negative kaysa sa positive. So, <clears throat> pinaka-common na tinatanong po ng mga viewers ko sa akin, madali po bang manalo sa casino? Uh, hindi. The answer is no. Bakit ko po nasabi yun? Okay, bago po tayo mag-umpisa, uh, wag po kayong magalit kay Puto. Okay? Sa mga sasabihin ko. Sana naman po sa mga nagsusugal, you know, out there in YouTube land na pinapanood tong uh, short video clip na to, wag naman po kayo sana masakta ng loob sa mga sasabihin ko. Dahil lahat po ng sasabihin ko based on me, working in the industry for 26 years. Lahat po ito ng mga nakita ko. Okay? So, madali bang manalo sa casino? My answer is hindi. My answer is no. Bakit ko po nasabi yun? Isipin niyo po, pag pumasok kayo sa casino, ang daming ilaw, ang daming empleyado, ang ganda ng building, ang ganda ng looban, ang ganda ng furniture, TV, bar, drinks, restaurant, you know, ang dami. Sino po sa tingin nyo nagbabayad nun? Yung pong kasino, wala po kaming physical product. Dahil isipin nyo, <clears throat> pag pumasok kayo sa tindahan, kunyari uh, Walmart, madami silang groceries, madami silang damit, madami silang electronics, kung ano-anong different kinds of products they sell. So, bibili nyo yun, lalabas kayo, meron kayong products sa kamay ninyo, right? Doon po sa pinagtatrabahohan ko dati, wala po kaming physical product. Ang ino-offer po namin, sugal. And I hate to say, addiction. Okay? Dahil isipin nyo, lahat ng minention ko sa inyo. Sino po nagbabayad nun? Napakamahal ng kuryente. Napakamahal ng upa. Napakamahal ng uh, labor cost. Labor cost is the biggest expense sa casino po. Yung pong dealer na nag-deal ng baraha sa harapan ninyo. Binabayaran po yun. Sino nagbabayad doon? Kayo, yung mga player. <clears throat> sa restaurant po, ang gaganda ng upuan, gaganda ng furniture. Tignan nyo, yung ilaw, ang dami. Tignan nyo, yung TV, ang dami. Lahat po yan, ano, hindi libre. So, yung pong uh, pinambabayad ng kumpanya for all of those things, which is called the uh, overhead cost, nanggagaling po yun sa talo ng tao. Dahil po, uh, how do I say this? I hate to admit, pero po, yung mga kasino, tsaka yung mga sugalan, they prey on people's emotions. Okay? Dahil uh, madali pong uh, maadik sa sugal. Dahil napansin ko po, kunyari, uh, kayo, pumasok kayo sa kasino or sa sugalan and You've never ever uh, gambled in your life before. Malaki po ang possibility. There's a very, very high possibility yung first time ninyo mananalo kayo. Tapos sasabihin po ng utak ninyo sa inyo, Uy, ang dali na ito. Nanalo agad ako. So, babalik ulit kayo. Tapos nun, depende kung, you know, kung ano yung uh, swerte nyo. Pwede kayong manalo, pwede kayong matalo. Pero, babalik ng babalik ng babalik kayo. Dahil human nature po yun. You know, pag uh, nanalo tayo, we want more. It's your endorphin dump in your in your brain there. It tells you. Kaya po yung mga tao nagiging addict dahil, uh, you know, they always hope, they always wish. Tapos pag uh, nanalo sila, 
iisipin po ng utak nila, oh, mananalo ulit ako sa so babalik ulit sila ng babalik. So, mahirap po talagang manalo. I mean, yung rule of thumb po namin sa casino dati, the longer you play, the more you lose. So, totoo po yun. Dahil, uh, ang dami ko po nakikita. Nanalo na, pero hindi pa umaalis because they want more. Human nature. That's greed, right? Natural lang po yun sa tao. You know, psychology yun eh. Napakadali pong manalo kung tutuusin. Pero, uh, ang trick is, can you stand up and walk away? <laughs> so guys, tandaan ninyo, pagpumasok po kayo sa casino, meron pong rason kung bakit walang bintana. Dahil, hindi po namin gusto yung mga player na makita kung may araw pa o gabi na. We want them to lose track of time. And speaking of time, wala po kayo makikitang relo. Like you don't see any clocks, you know, on the walls or anything. Thank God mayroong mga cellphone na yung mga tao ngayon. Dahil we don't want you to know what time it is. Dahil pag nadong kayo sa loob, we want uh, the customers to be relaxed. That way, they play longer. Tsaka mapapansin din po ninyo na madalas kami magbigay ng free drinks, lalo na yung mga alcohol. Hindi naman na sinasabi ko na gusto namin kayong lasingin, pero we want you to get to a point where yung pong mind nyo tsaka yung katawan nyo relax. Dahil pag ganun po ang sitwasyon, the clients or the players, they tend to play bigger. Gusto po namin tumaya yung mga player ng mas malaki. Mas malaki ang taya, mas malaki ang kita ng casino. Mapapansin din po ninyo. Kunyari, nanalo na kayo and uh, it's time for you to go. Pero meron kayong mga chips that you need to cash out. Yung pong cashier is usually located at the farthest end of the building. You know, parang napakahirap hanapin po because we want you to go all the way to the other end and then, kunyari, nag-cash out na kayo so you have this long path to find your way to the exit. And guess what you're gonna see? along that uh, that path you're gonna see tables you're gonna see slot machines and we want you to use the money that you just cashed out that you think you were gonna come out of the building with to redonate it back to the machines or the tables and another reason why pag pumasok po kayo sa casino mapapansin ninyo yung mga servers namin puro babae na magaganda because merasun po yun <laughs> not to be sexist or anything like that but uh Eye candy keeps the player sitting down and keeps them ordering drinks, you know? And, you know, they keep them in a good mood. So, like I said, I don't want to sound sexist or anything, pero totoo po yun. There is a, a method to the madness. And all of those formulas, all of those things that I just mentioned to you, is uh, designed to keep all of the players inside the building and gambling as long as possible. Dahil po, pinaka... Kalaban, pinaka-enemy po ng uh, player sa, sa looban ng casino is time. Because uh, may formula po yan eh. The longer you play, the more you lose. So kahit manalo po kayo sa umpisa, the longer you play, eventually, and I've seen this every day, and you can, you can dispute this all you want, you know? I've seen this every single day for the last 26 years. Eventually, you're gonna lose all that money back and you're going to end up reaching into your pocket and give us more. It's just the way it's designed. You know, kalaban nyo po is time. So dun po sa mga swerte, if you can train your mind to be disciplined enough na kunyari manalo kayo and then split right away, then yeah, you can consider yourself a winner. Pero I guarantee you, babalik na babalik na babalik din po kayo. Because napakadali po talagang manalo kung suswertihin kayo. Dahil isipin nyo, I'll give you an example. Kunyari, uh, magkano po kita ng tao sa isang araw kung magtatrabaho kayo ng uh, regular na job? 150 maybe $200 after taxes? I've seen this a million, over a million times. People would come in, uupo sila, they'll take out $200 out of their wallet, bibili, itataya, and then not even 30 seconds, Mananalo sila ng 200 boom. So yun, isipin nyo, $200 na nasa kamay nila. Kikitahin na ng regular na tao yun for one whole shift sa isang araw after taxes and they just earned it 
well, not earned it. They just won it in less than 30 seconds. Yung po nakaka-addict. So, madali po bang manalo sa casino? Yes. Pero, mahirap umalis. And the fact na mahirap umalis at nakaka-addict po, that's the reason why we are so profitable. Casinos make millions, if not billions of dollars in revenue every single year. And guess what? Yung pong perang yun, yung mga milyones na yun, nagagaling po sa mga sugarol. So, I hope that answers your question. So, kung magustuhan nyo po ito, itong video na ito, tungkol sa trabaho ko dati, I can definitely create more. And, uh, you know, we can talk about mga nakita ko, like the amount of money that I've seen move on a daily basis. You know, mga taong nakilala ko, you know, sino po nalulong sa sugal. I can tell you people's lives, how <clears throat> they got broken, unfortunately. We can talk about all of that po. Now, if you end up liking this. Dahil, sinubukan ko lang po to dahil uh, ngayon na, uh, like I said, retired na po ako. Dami po nagtatanong kung paano po naging buhay ko, you know, working in that industry for so long. So, sana naman po nagustuhan nyo itong video na to. And uh, join me on the next one. Let me know on the comments down below if you want more videos like this. Like I said, we can create a whole series because I have endless stories about uh, the casino industry and sugal overall as a subject. So this is Puto Mendoza in Canada wishing you good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Stay hungry, stay humble, keep your hustle strong, guys. I'll see you on the next video.